In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you about the full release of the multi-cursor script editing. So if you remember, before I made a video on multi-cursor script editing, where I taught you the basics of multi-cursor script editing and how it works. Now that there's the full release, Roblox has added a couple of new changes to the system, and today I'm going to be demonstrating on how you can use them. First of all, here I am in Roblox Studio, and I'm going to start by creating a script in Server Script Service and going from here. So let's just go ahead and add some dummy code in here. And we're just going to say, I love multi cursor. It's just an example, and I'm going to make multiple lines of this. Now, the next new feature is the column slash block select. And using a keyboard shortcut, highlight blocks of code or white space, cursors will be placed at the end of the selected block. So if you're on Windows, you need to hold Shift and Alt and then drag. And as you can see, cursors are going to be added incrementally like this. And if you're on Mac, you can use Shift, the Option key, and drag, and it'll have the same effect. And so as you can see, I have Shift and Alt, I drag it. And as you can see, I can go, for example, here. And then I could change this word to a specific function, for example. So instead of print, I could say log, or I could change it to warn, or maybe to error, or to print. You can see I selected it a bit wrong there, so I accidentally added another cursor there, but you get the idea. Now the next thing I want to show you is the split selections into lines. So place cursors at the end of each line in a multi-line selection at the end of a selection. If you're on Windows, you need to press Shift, Alt, and I, and as you can see, it's going to add the cursor at the end of the line. And then from here, we can change the message. It can also select the entire block. And then if you're on Mac, you can use Shift, Option, and I, and it'll also have the same effect. Next, I want to show you the match case whole world system. So I'm just going to create another dummy piece of code. So local animals equal, and then squiggly brackets. And then I'm going to say cat, dog, bird, fish, and then mouse. Now, what I can actually do is update the selection criteria to match by case and slash all whole word for the following functions. So I can add a cursor to next slash previous matching selections, or add a cursor to all matching selections. So let's press Ctrl F, and now you can see that we have a couple of options. So let's say cat, and as you can see, it says one out of one match, and then what I can do with this is I'm going to be able to find the search criteria. Now in addition to this, you can also search now by case sensitive items. So let's say uh, we have cat and lowercase cat here. So let's go back into control F and if we press cat and then press uppercase, it's going to find the uppercase version of that. And if we unselect it, it's going to find one. So let's say we have multiple words and we're just looking for the same word. Let's say we had a cat with an uppercase C and a cat with a lowercase C. Now what we have to do is if we just search for cat, we can click on the A button and it's going to show both selections. Okay, and finally what I want to show you is the scroll bar markers. So now when you have multiple cursors, so let's just say we add some cursors, it actually shows you where the cursors are on the side of your scroll bar. So as you can see, all of these little lines represent the cursors. And as you can see, when we remove them, they disappear. And so that's just more helpful to identify cursor locations. So I hope you found this video helpful and it did get you a little more educated on how to use multi-cursor script editing. If you do have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me on the forums. If you have any scripting issues or want to talk with anybody else about Roblox or scripting, head over to our forums on forums.thecookie.dev. That's all for me. Thank you for tuning in and bye bye